I went to the islands for this episode. We're all Bahamas all the time. First up, we'll get the party started right with my take on a tropical milkshake. Then, my first guest, Scott and Amanda Speed, join me for some sea creature delight. Ha! Down in the marina, Bimini Road Restaurant is a great place to fill your belly, Mon. And finally, while Scott Speed and Kyle Bush hacked up the pristine golf course, I met up with their gals to show them a delicious smutted lobster omelet. Wow! What do you say we get to paradise? I'm Nicky Morse, and they call me the Racing Chef. For over 15 years, I served as a four-star chef, cooking for the prim and proper. Those <clears throat> high society type people. For the last eight years, I traveled on the road cooking meals for a five-time world champion drag racing team. And now it's my turn to mix it up on the NASCAR Really, really good. A simple sandwich now it's like gourmet food. A marriage made in heaven. Dun, dun, da, dun. Me and food. <laughs> well, we got a special kind of relationship. Join me as I race around the country bringing a new flavor to the tracks. Testing out some local eats. And even cooking up some cool things with the drivers. The turkey's here. The tur oh, that's nice. So fire up those appetites. Get out of your chef. And let's get cooking. Cause I'm Chef Nicky Morse and you're about to take a ride with the racing chef. You are not gonna believe where I am. There's no racetrack here and I'm not in a hurry. We're at Atlantis Paradise Island in the Bahamas. Now, you know, in the off weeks of NASCAR, a lot of people come down here, and I'm going to see if I can hook up with a driver or so, you know? But first, let me hop off this thing and all this tropical fruit around here. Let me show you how to make a great tropical fruit milkshake. Come on. I told you I was going to make something to drink, and why not make it in paradise? Because I'm here. You know, the first thing I'm going to do is add a little milk, a couple ounces of milk in this blender. Oh, I gotta have some ice cream, just some vanilla ice cream, maybe about a cup of it. Look at this. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of honey in here because I love honey. I love honey. We're in the Bahamas. You gotta have pineapple, you gotta have mango. It's a must. So let's put a couple ounces of pineapple in here and maybe an ounce of mango, about. You know, sour cream. Sour cream in a milkshake? Sour cream. I said sour cream in the milkshake. It's great, the tartness with the fruit is wonderful. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of that. Oh, now we're gonna turn this on and let it get smooth. What I did was I put the fruit in here and it was cold. So it's gonna keep this really cold, which is great. Cause if the fruit's warm when you put it in, it may melt the ice cream too much. Got a nice cold glass. Let's see how it is. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Now I'll tell you what, I like it a little bit chunky. You can make it a little smoother if you want. Or if you make a strawberry daiquiri, you can layer strawberry daiquiri in here, which is really great too. I'm going to put just a little dust of cinnamon on the top for a little flavor, and you know, you always got to have the cherry. Listen, I'll catch up with you guys later. Mmm! Whoa, is that good! Coming up next, you know we're going to have a blast when the speed stop by. Stay tuned.